新增本土确诊病例。湖北以外省份无新增死亡病例。Italy has now surpassed China in the number of COVID-19 related deaths. Each country has had more than 3,000 people die from the virus. Italy has been averaging more than 350 deaths per day since March 15th. Wuhan, the city where the coronavirus outbreak started, has seen for the first time zero new homegrown cases. Worshippers are continuing to pray side by side in Burkina Faso, even though there's a ban on large gatherings until the end of April. This is where the first person in sub-Saharan Africa died from COVID-19. The pandemic means big losses for Japan's tourism industry. Foreign visitors last month are down more than 50% from the year before. There were a little over a million people coming into the country last month compared to the same time last year, which saw more than two and a half million. We now no longer will be allowing anyone, unless they're a citizen or, or a resident or a uh, direct family member in those cases, as is applied to all the other travel bans we've put in place previously. We will close our border to any non-residents and citizens attempting to travel here. Australia and New Zealand announced almost at the same time that they would be closing the borders to foreigners to try to stop the spread of the pandemic. The Australian border shut down starting Thursday. Most of the 600 cases there originated from outside the country. New Zealand will ban foreigners as of Thursday night. It has about 30 cases of the virus so far. The UK is facing a shortage of medical equipment, which could lead to a higher number of COVID-19 related deaths. Britain is short on ventilators that will be needed to treat critically ill patients with the virus. The Thai army has been spraying disinfectant along the roads in the capital of Bangkok. This is a big cleaning campaign that started after Thailand recorded 60 new coronavirus cases on Thursday. That would be its biggest daily jump so far. There are now more than 270 people in the nation with COVID-19. A Thai health official says dozens of recent cases had links to a nightclub and boxing.